Welcome back to the channel everybody. In today's episode, I'm filming here from the Berlin Philharmonie. This morning, I gave you some exercise about how to warm up with the mouthpiece and this afternoon, I'm going to give you some exercises on how to, ped uh, how to practice your pedal notes. The pedal notes, long tones in the pedal notes and everything I'm going to show you today are something that I've been adding to my routine recently and I've really gained a lot of benefits in my overall playing from it even in my high register. So that's pretty cool. And this is what we're going to be talking about today. But if this is the first time we meet, my name is Rafan on this channel. We talk about brass playing, about the trombone, about the equipment. We talk about performance. We play some arrangements and so on. So if this is the first time that you join us, please consider subscribing to the channel and pushing this little bell so that you are notified every time I post some new content. So as I was saying today, we're going to be talking about pedal notes. And before I tell you how to practice pedal notes, maybe I'll tell you what pedal notes are. Pedal notes are uh, notes that you will play from the B flat, from the pedal B flat. It's called the pedal B flat. That is the first pedal notes. Everything uh, above that, even with both vowels, such as an E, a D, a C, those are not pedal notes. Um, pedal notes starts on the B flat and they can go down to the pedal F and even lower, if you're courageous, right down to the double B flat. So if this is a B flat, the pedal B flat will be and the pedal F and the double B flat. Now, if you're very courageous, you can even go lower than the double B flat, but we're not going to be talking about this today. In fact, today we're only going to be talking about the pedal B flat, the normal pedal B flat, and how to practice it and how to include it in your routine. So the first thing that I like to do when I do a warm up and I'm, going to, I'm about to play some pedal notes is to go down from the middle register right down to the pedal register. And that is because you want to have a good embouchure from the middle down to the pedal notes. What a lot of people do, a lot of mistakes that are made when playing pedal notes, is that your whole embouchure changes. Maybe you shift somewhere, maybe you block your lips somewhere, <coughs> maybe your cheap puff up too much, uh, and sometimes you lose the intonation because you lose the center of the note. Another thing that I like to do when I practice my pedal notes, especially for warming up, is to play them in a very, very soft, dynamics. So mezzo piano, piano, pianissimo, if you can. That will take a lot of practice to get your pedal notes really centered in the pianissimo dynamics. So this is what we're going to practice. So the first thing that you want to do is to go down just from a normal B flat. Down to that pedal B flat. When you get to that pedal B flat, you want to make sure that the corner of your lips are still quite strong, that your embouchure, your cheeks, uh, sorry, I'm really badly shaved, <laughs> uh, but I hope you can see my cheeks anyway, everything stays strong, everything stays solid. And so going down to the pedal B flat and then attacking the pedal B flat again, because some people are having problems attacking pedal notes. So this is what we want to, you know, we're warming up, so we're putting the machine on and you know we're getting the air flowing even i'm having some allergies some spring allergies right now but still getting the air flowing and your chart your lips vibrating and everything uh being quite solid but flexible so let's do it again <laughs> Everything is still is still solid. You can still hear really the center of the note. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, a few long tones on those B flats, and I'm going to try to keep the center, so keeping a good, uh, healthy sound, but in the piano to pianissimo uh, dynamic. And if the note disappears, that's perfectly fine. We can just take a breath and play the note again.
and keep going as soft as possible. If you think that you lost the pitch, if you think that you lost the center of the note, go back up to the uh, to a comfortable range. Listen to the sound quality and go back to the pedal. And that's kind of what I do. And I do this for like five to seven minutes in my warm up, those pedal notes. And you know, you don't need to go lower than the B flat. Of course you can if you really, really want to, but my advice is not going lower than the B flat if your B flat is not centered, because it's just gonna go worse when you go down. And then after the, 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 B, the, the F, the pedal F, you're gonna start wanting to move things. Remember, I've talked about it a lot in this channel, going in the low register is more about the bottom jar going, the bottom jaw, sorry, going forward. But everything keeping very solid so that you have a centered sound. That's gonna be it for today's video. Please practice this, practice this B flat pedal note, and I promise we will do more exercises on pedal tones. We will play loud, we will play much lower, but you really need to master those mezzo piano piano uh, B flats. Practice with a tuner. You can practice with a drone, but also with a tuner. If the tuner doesn't pick up your note, usually it's not because you have a bad tuner that doesn't hear in the low register. Usually it's because you lose the center of your note. So practice with a tuner. Keep your ears open. When in doubt, if you kind of lose the pitch, go back up and then go back down. Uh, and you know, it's taking a lot of patience. Playing in the low register and pedal notes take a lot of patience, a lot of perseverance. I had such a bad low register. I could not, I could practically not play an F, like the normal, that F, apparently I can't play it still. This F was really hard for me at the beginning and then practicing gradually and, you know, having a lot of patience, you, you can get there, everybody can get there. It's not like you can't play low register. There's no, reason why you wouldn't be able to play low register if you have the proper technique, if you do the proper exercises, if you persevere, and if you don't take shortcuts. Don't take shortcuts because it's just going to stop. You're going to hit a wall. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've had, please put a thumb up. If you haven't, I'm sorry, put your comments uh, below the video. And yeah, if you want to get some of my exercises, every month now I'm sending some exercises in PDF format to everybody that subscribes to my Patreon channel. I will link it below. And what you get, you get all my arrangements. So if you wanted all the Mozart arrangements, for example, you got it. They're included. It's only $15. So like three coffees, you get all my arrangements for small and large ensemble. You get all my etudes that I write. You get all the exercises. Every month, as I said, you get uh, those, yeah, some, some, some new exercises. And also what you get is the opportunity to send me your audio files. Some patrons are already sending me audio files. I reply to them. I give them feedback. I give them more chips, more tricks, more uh, exercises and whatnot. So you can have some, basically some one-on-one -on -one, uh, with me if that's interesting to you for only 15 dollars a month so i think it's a pretty cool deal uh, i'm really enjoying doing this and uh yeah i'll see you in the next video take care practice practice slow patience perseverance that uh b flat pedal even if you're a tenor trombone player it's really important and you'll see that once you get to that flowing your whole register will expand some people have been sending me emails about my high d's in the mozart i play a lot of high d's and everybody's like, how do I practice this high register? Well, practicing your pedal notes, like I just described in today's video, is going to help you tremendously for your high register because your lips are going to get used to vibrate 
um, in a certain way. You're gonna have better airflow, you're gonna have stronger corners, and you'll have a more centered sound, even in the harder notes to center, such as those pedal notes. So practice those, and I can guarantee that the high register will get better also. That's it for me for today. Uh, we're live here in Berlin. It's a very nice day. We're gonna play the Mozart Requiem. Unfortunately, uh, Mozart Requiem is one of my favorite pieces. Unfortunately, we're playing this arrangement by Franz Bayer, I think. He's a German guy that arranged, reorchestrated the Mozart Requiem, and I really don't like it. I know that Mo Mozart died before he was able to finish, so people, his wife, I think, was kind of finishing it for him, and some other people took a shot at doing it, and this guy did, and I, I don't really like it so much, so I'm a little bit disappointed, because there's less to play, and yeah anyway a whole other subject it has nothing to do with pedal notes so have a nice practice have a nice week and yeah leave me your comments and me your messages and i'll talk to you soon ciao